Hey guys, welcome back. I am Vika if you are new here. So today we are going to make a car controller in script in Unity. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribe and let's get started. Here I already imported the Polygon City asset pack from the Stannis. Then I wanted to remove all the vehicles on the scene. So I click on one vehicle. Then we can see all the vehicles are named as SM underscore VEH like that. So I search it in the search box. Then I select all the vehicle models and deselect them from the inspector. Now we can't see any vehicle on the scene, but I need one car. So I click on one vehicle and make it active using the inspector including wheels and windows. After that, I make a new folder and name it as scripts. Then I create a new c -sharp script inside the script folder and name it as car controller. To perfectly run the car controller script, you should have a separate four wheels and a car body at least. Here I unpack this prefab completely, then create an empty game object and name it as wheels. Then I create another empty game object called measures under wheels. Then I drag all the wheels into the measures game object and make them children. Then I duplicate the measures game object by hitting Ctrl D and rename it as colliders. In the original prefab, there are sphere colliders for all the wheels. So I removed them by selecting all them at once. Also do the same for measures as well. After removing all the components, I added wheel colliders to all the game objects under collider. Then select all the wheels one by one and adjust the wheel size and position using the wheel collider position and size setting. So guys, I will explain the script. So here there is an enumerator called controller mode. In this mode, we can select the key, the input type, where it is from, whether it is from keyboard or buttons. Then there is another enumerator for axle, this is important one. So we have two axles, which is for front and one for rear. Here we have created a struct called wheel. In wheel struct, we have game object for wheel model and wheel collider and axle so once you create a wheel we have to fill wheel model wheel collider and axle and if you want you can set wheel effect and small particles for the wheels then there is a control mode which is uh, related to this enumerator and we have max acceleration brake acceleration, turn sensitivity and max steer angle. Then we have another vector 3 for center of mass. We can get it from the widget body component. And we have a list of wheels. So we can set how many wheels in our vehicle. And we have go script and rear steer input. So also we have widget body component as a primary. So in the start function what happened is uh, we get the rigid body component which is attached to the vehicle and using that rigid body we can get center of mass then in the update function we can we call get input animate wheels and wheel effects so here in my script i have disabled animate wheels and wheel effects here so in the uh, last update function uh, which is called just after the update function and here we call move steer and brake so let's talk about the move in the move we uh, use it to move our vehicle and steer to steer our vehicle and brake to break our vehicle then uh, let's see the get input method in the get input method we get uh, horizontal and vertical movements as inputs and take it as float variables then uh, if we go to the animate wheels here uh, ve vehicle wheel are animated so here the part you see the wheels are rotating forward or backward direction so in the wheel effects function 
in the wheel effect function we can see uh, we can set the set particle effects and special wheel effect so this is the uh, basic of uh, basic structure of uh, car controller script so here i have disabled uh, the effects because i have disabled all the effects and if you want and if you have uh, uh, particle effects and other stuff you can set these parameters and uh, make it more realistic here under the section of the wheel you should have to enter the number of wheels here i have four wheels after applying four we can see four wheel elements have appeared then i drag wheel colliders and measures into the correct positions here I kept empty for the wheel effects and particles section. Then I selected wheel, forward and rear pairs as well. After that I played the game. You can see our car is bumping. So here the issue was with the mesh collider and rigid body. Here I set mesh collider convex to true. Also check the suspension screen settings in the wheel colliders. After that I added new empty game object and attached the camera to it. Then I reposition it. Then I hit play and it is working fine. But here you can see the camera is a bit shaky. So we need to add camera follower script. So we will see that part in next video. At the end of this video, we create a simple car controller script and we need to create camera follower script for the completion so i will make another video on camera follower script and i will upload it and put the link in the description and so you can uh, watch that too so see you soon in another video hope you enjoy the video so if you enjoy the video please consider subscribe and hit a like button so bye